Euromonitor International is pleased to release its top city destinations ranking for 2011. This list ranks the top 100 cities that are visited by the most international arrivals. As a whole, visitation increased by 7% to these cities in 2011 thanks to the continued global economic rebound. Hong Kong, Singapore, and London retained the top spots in the ranking for 2011. Uh, Hong Kong and Singapore experienced 9% growth, while London only experienced 3% growth. Uh, the stronger economic rebound in Asia Pacific when compared to Europe is the main reason behind this disparity. It is important to note that 60% of arrivals to Hong Kong are from China, while 40% of arrivals to Singapore are from Malaysia. So both cities are heavily dependent on their larger neighbors for international visitation. Singapore, though, is looking to diversify its source markets away from Malaysia and has been helped in part by the opening of two integrated casino resorts in 2010. These resorts have proved very popular with Asian tourists who live in countries where gambling is illegal, such as Indonesia. Two cities of note from the list uh, this year are Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. Both experienced over 40% growth in international visitation in 2011. This is the second consecutive year for those cities to experience over 40% growth. So very rapid. Uh, Vietnam remains a must-see destination globally and particularly within Asia. Its booming economy has drawn in more business travelers. And because these cities are both key international gateways, they've benefited greatly from the popularity of the country as a whole. Going forward, it is expected that international gateway cities in Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa, and Latin America are going to perform well because of their stronger economic growth. As living standards increase in these regions, more and more travelers are traveling for the first time internationally, and often those trips are intra-regionally first before going long haul. Additionally, economic and trade integration within those regions is spurring more business travel. Developed countries and more mature destinations are also looking to capitalize on economic growth in these emerging regions by making it easier for travelers from emerging markets to obtain visas to visit their destinations. For example, in January 2012, President Obama issued an executive order that increased the visa processing capacity in Brazil and China and removed the interview requirement for those renewing their visas to the U.S. Uh, in December of 2012, the UK government said that they would make their visa application forms shorter, translate them into Mandarin, and require less documentation from Chinese applicants in order to spur Chinese tourists to come to the UK. Uh, it is expected that more developed markets will be looking at these initiatives and mimicking them in order to increase international visitation from these emerging markets.